Yeah, it was scary. So personally, the beginning of the pandemic felt like uh, a train hit our household. All of us at home having to change the internet plan because the bandwidth was not, not, was not enough. We've all had to change the way that we work. What if there's an extended lockdown? Do I have the resources I need? Does my family have it? Does my community have it? The need for strong civil society organizations at the local level uh, was more critical than ever. The nonprofits that we serve realize during one weekend that their technology investments were not enough. We never thought of ourselves as a frontline organization when disaster strikes. and. This was a unique situation in which infrastructure was actually the front line of response. Probably they were saying, yes, we'll, we'll leave the technology investments for later. Later is that the pandemic came. Some people talk about organizations thriving. They're serving more people than they ever have before. They're doing more of this than they ever have before. This is because more people are hungry than have been before. And more people are sick than have been before. They're not thriving. They're doing what nonprofits do, which is they're showing up for their communities in all the ways that they know how.